We are going to learn how we can select multiple cells at the same time in Excel. As you might have noticed in our video so far, we have selected only one cell at a time. And any operation that we do applies only to the selected cell. For example, when we selected a cell and then pressed the delete key, it deleted the content in only in that cell. Similarly, all the other operations and functions that we are going to learn in the future will only apply to the selected cells. For example, changing the font or changing the color of the text uh, or any other such operation will only apply to the selected cell. So far, we have only selected one cell at a time, but now we are going to learn how we can select multiple cells at the same time. So you can select multiple cells, whether they are contiguous or not. Contiguous cells are cells that are adjacent to each other or next to each other. For example, A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5. These five cells together are called contiguous cells because they are together. Whereas A1 and A5 are not next to each other, are not connected. So they are called non-contiguous cells. Excel allows you to select multiple cells whether they are contiguous or not. Another term related to this concept is called a range. A range is nothing but a collection of cells. For example, A1 through A5 together is a range and this represents the list of books that we have in our bookstore. There are several ways to select multiple cells in Excel. We will be learning about some of those techniques in the upcoming videos.